वेलकम टू सावरकर आई ए एस स्टडी सर्कल एन एक्टिविटी ऑफ स्वतंत्रवीर सावरकर राष्ट्रीय स्मारक छत्रपति शिवाजी महाराज उद्यान ओल्ड डेम शिवाजी पार्क स्वतंत्रवीर सावरकर मार्ग दादर वेस्ट मुंबई ट्वेंटी एट नाउ वी आर डिस्कसिंग हियर अबाउट यूपीएससी सीविल सर्विसेस एक्जामिनेशन देन यूपीएससी Uh, that is conducting out an examination that is cds examination then nda entrance test and lastly mpsc civil services examination so let us start with upsc civil services examination what is the eligibility criteria for upsc civil services examination uh, simple you must be graduate from any ugc recognized university and minimum age should be 21 years that is at time of appearing examination so uh, if you are appearing for graduation and you are there fitting out in age criteria then also you can apply for upsc civil services examination but when we have to consider that you are 21 years age the thing is that suppose you are appearing for examination in 2026 then on 1st august 2026 your minimum age must be 21 years completed what is about maximum age uh, maximum age depends upon which category you are belonging means if you are belonging to open category then maximum age here that is right now in 2024 it is considered as 32 years so uh, if you are appearing for 2026 examination then before 1st august uh, 2026 your age should not be more than 32 so this way upper age limit is 32 for open category if you are belonging to obc category then obvious thing is that uh, when you are saying obc you have to get certificate validating certificate as well as non criminal certificate then only you have to consider it as obc otherwise you have to consider it as open so uh, if you are having obc certificate and all these requirements are fulfilling out then age limit is 35 years so 3 years relaxation is there for obc category and if you are there in sc category sc and st then age limit upper age limit is 37 years so this is the age criteria for upsc civil services examination what is the pattern of upsc civil services examination so uh, it is divided into three part you can check out on the screen the first part that is preliminary examination second part that is mains and last part that is personality test or uh, many people are calling this as an interview what is uh, nature of preliminary examination we are discussing this some hot detail preliminary examination is only mcq type exam that is multiple choice questions your right answer will awarded you plus 2 marks whereas for three wrong answers your marks of one question that is plus 2 mark are deducted from your score that is in case of paper 1 in case of paper 2 2.5 marks are there for each question and penalty is also same for three wrong answers they are going to deduct your 2.5 marks from your score so this way uh, first prelim they are having two papers uh, all mcq type paper 1 and paper 2 now let us discuss the nature of paper 1 what is paper 1 in case of preliminary examination it is consisting of general studies this general word is horrible uh, you are aware that uh, there are types of anesthesia if you have to extract some single tooth or something like that 
then it is called as local anesthesia. But a major surgery is there, then sometimes they are giving that is called as general anesthesia. So general study is also something like that. There is no specific. But yet we have to consider 10 subjects in general studies. List out physics, chemistry, biology, environmental science. These are four topics from science background. Geography. To certain extent, environmental science is depending upon geography also. So geography, history, national freedom struggle. So they are separating out two topics. History is separate, national freedom struggle is separate. So history, national freedom struggle, economics, Indian polity. So total nine subjects are there. Tenth one that is current affairs. So like that total ten subjects we have to consider in case of general studies. But what is the depth of that subject? It is expected that 10 plus 2 level knowledge should be there of all these subjects. That means 12 standard level is expected here. So we can go by this way that we have to prepare each and everything at least at the 12th standard level. Uh, but what is the standard? We have to consider it as NCRT books or CBSC books for this purpose as standard book. Now, uh, what is the pattern of paper 1 preliminary examination? There is no fixed marking system. Many students are aware in case of college days or school days, a particular chapter is fixed for particular marks. But here it is not there. Maybe possible question they can ask from history, from geography or maybe possible 50% paper will be there from any one subject also. You can go through previous year's question paper. They are available on upsc.gov.in. So on that site you will get this paper, uh, previous year's question paper you can check out and in market various books are there. They are also showing previous, uh, previous year's question papers. So you can check out. There is no fixed pattern of questions. Usually repeated questions are not there. Maybe possible some changes are there, but usually they don't have repeated questions. So this is something about paper one of general studies that is 200 marks. That means you have to solve 100 questions in two hours time. That means in 120 minutes you have to solve 100 questions. So we can consider this way that 100 minutes time for solving the question whereas 20 minutes time for rejecting and reconsidering certain answers. So like that you can go through this paper 1. Now paper 1 is comprising of 200 marks that is only considered as standard marks for your eligibility. Paper 2 that is the most important paper actually but it is now made as qualified for a qualification only. That means you have to get qualified, you have to score 66 marks out of 200. Then you are getting qualified. If you are scoring 200 marks out of 200, then also you are qualified and 66 marks then also qualified. What is the nature of paper 2 in preliminary examination? So pre paper 2 is having 80 questions. Each question is of 2.5 marks. Negative marking for three question answer, uh, your answers are wrong. They are going to deduct 2.5 marks. Paper 2 is only qualifying level. You have to score only 66 marks out of 200. Then you are getting qualified. If you are scoring more than that, then also you are qualified only. Whatever your score of paper 2, they are not considering in the score. Score is considered for only preliminary examination paper 1, not of paper 2. But what is the paper 2? It's aptitude test. It's fantastic paper. Actually, previous government made this paper countable. 
That's why selection rate was something different. Because this is there to check your aptitude. This is there to check your IQ, intelligent. All these things uh, we have to discuss in paper 2. For example, uh, paper 2 is consisting of comprehension. A passage is given. You have to answer, uh, answer on basis of passage only. So if in the passage they have mentioned that color of moon is white, then your answer should be what is color of moon? White. So like that based on only passage you have to answer. So this is something about comprehension. Then logical reasoning, analytical reasoning, data interpretation, simple arithmetics, communication skills, verbal and non-verbal communication, decision making and problem solving. All this part that is there in paper 2. It's really interesting, really enjoying paper that is paper 2. Uh, only thing is that time is not sufficient because in 120 minutes you have to solve 80 questions. Both the papers you have to appear on the same day. So first session is of paper 1, then some gap is there, rest period is there and then paper 2 on the same day. So that's why it was something difficult because for paper 2 your mind must be extremely fresh then only you can solve paper nicely but already by solving paper 1 you are getting tired of and now we are going to solve paper 2 after a definite no doubt 2 hours or 3 hours rest period is there but uh, ultimately you are solving a 2 hours paper and again you are appearing on the same day for 2 hours paper that is something your patience that is also tested in paper 2. But now it is made only for qualifying level so you have to score just 66 marks and therefore it is not necessary that you are going to solve this entire paper not at all only go whatever you are confident with. That is your nice thing you are going to score a 66 mark that is peacefully you can able to solve. In case of UPSC civil services examination, what is the second stage? Answer is mains. But mains is not there for each and every student. Those who are qualified in preliminary examination that's why we are calling preliminary examination as filter. So those who are able to filter it out in preliminary examinations, they are eligible for mains. But what is the filtration criteria? Simple. Out of 200 marks in paper 1, you have to score as many marks as possible. In case of paper 2, you have to score 66 marks minimum. If you are going to score more marks, then also you are qualified. But if you are going to score less marks, then obviously in paper 1, whatever your score is there, they are not considering you. So minimum qualifying marks you have to obtain from paper 2. That's why paper 2 you have to work hard. Not that hard but still it is hard and then focus on paper 1. Now in case of paper 1, usually we can consider 50% plus that is cut off every year's cut off changes depending upon hardness of questions and uh, the way students have studied because nearly 15 lakh students are appearing for exam preliminary exam and from that approximately 10,000 to 14,000 students they are selected for mains depending upon their categories but usually they are setting out cut off marks in such a way that 10 to 14,000 students will get selected for mains. What is the nature of mains examination? Okay. It's descriptive. Paper 1 is only MCQ but paper 2 descriptive paper. There are uh, first two papers of languages. Uh, here our timetable is separate. It is not that on one day only you have to appear for paper. Each day only one paper you have to appear. So first paper is but natural English. 
because you are aware that in India, after freedom also, freedom from Britishers, we are continuing with English language. I am communicating with you in English language because it is considered as official language by amendment in constitutions. You can go through detail or we can go through detail afterwards. But because of these amendments, for now unlimited period, they have considered English as an official language. And therefore, first paper is of English. Second paper, that is any one Indian regional language. If you are belonging to seven sisters, that is uh, Arunachal, Nagaland, Mizoram, like that, then uh, you can consider English as your second language. But for else, you have to consider whatever other than English as your second language. Language papers are for only qualifying level. And the qualification limit is also lower down now. So no need to much worry about this. I am not saying don't prepare at all. But considerably you can prepare for English. Now almost all many students they are uh, studying out in English medium either till 10th standard or even graduation level also. And then uh, English is not that difficult right now. But other thing that regional language you must be aware. So these two papers you have to get prepared just for qualifying. If you are able to qualify then only they are going to check your rest of the papers. Now we are discussing UPSC civil services men's examinations after qualifying in men only languages which other papers are there for score. So first paper that is essay writing for 250 marks essay writing paper is there. Uh, very unfortunate to say but uh, day by day we are losing our writing capacity. When I was in school we were having essay for 15 marks in Mumbai. I don't know other states but for us it was 15 marks essay when I started teaching the marks decreases from 15 to 10 and now I hear that okay some 7 marks are there for essay in this case you have to prepare 250 marks essay now old days they were having only one essay for 300 marks Minimum 3000 words you have to write down, but now they reduce the marks as well as words. So 300 marks reduced to 250 marks, whereas uh, words of essay also reduced from 300, sorry, 3000 to 2500. Then another change occurred that they are giving set of two essays. In question 1, 4 essays and question 2, 4 essays. Out of that, in section 1 or question 1, you have to solve any, uh, you have to write any one essay out of 4 topics given. And in section 2 also, you have to write down any one essay out of 4 topics given. 1250 lines, uh, sorry, 1250 words is the limit for this uh, essay. So first essay of 1250 words and second essay of 1250 words on the same paper. That means they have reduced the words. But we are having more probability out of four one topic, out of four one topic. So like that each paper is of 250 marks. So essay writing, then GS papers are there. You may ask again GS answer is yes. Paper 1, Paper 2, Paper 3, Paper 4, uh, sorry, Paper 2, 3, 4 and 5. These papers are of GS, General Studies. That what we are discussing in preliminary examination, almost all same thing. Only some topics are newly added there, that is, essay, uh, sorry, that is uh, Ethics. And uh, National, Indian National Security and International Relations. 
so like that topics have added so that is general studies paper that is 2 3 4 and 5 each paper is of 250 marks then your optional paper now there are two papers 250 marks each so optional one and optional actually i am saying optional paper two but it is not second subject it is only one subject say for example uh, I am considering my subject as human anthropology. Then optional paper 1 is of human anthropology only. And optional 2 is also human anthropology. It is not that one is human anthropology and other is physics. No. Both papers are of same. So this is something we are having uh, structure. So 250 marks. 250 marks means optional paper 500. The third part that is personality test where uh, we are calling this as interview also a panel interview is there and uh, in that case we have to go through the panel interview they are testing your personality but right now I am not discussing much over this personality test the thing is that uh, reaching to this personality test is bit difficult not impossible but difficult Say first filter is of, uh, say, uh, I don't know what is the number of students they are appearing when you are appearing for exam. But we can consider 10 lakh, 15 lakh, whatever the number. Whereas, uh, from that, whatever the input, they are going to select approximately 10,000 to 45, uh, sorry, 14,000, 14,000. If vacancies are around 1,000 total, then they are going to consider this way. So, uh, we have uh, input of infinite, but from that we are finiting out to 10,000 to 15,000, uh, sorry, 10,000 to 14,000 for mains. From mains, they are going to select you. The cutoff will be set in this way that 1 is to 3 proportion. Means, suppose one vacancy is there, for one vacancy they are selecting out 3 candidates. So three candidates, that means out of three, one is selected, two are rejected. So for vacancy of 1000 seats, they are going to select 3000 from mains. Like that cutoff marks are set out. And then in the personality test, you are going to get selected or rejected, whatever your destiny, I should use the word here. So this is something about the procedure or nature of exam how to study for UPSC civil services examinations the first important thing we have to consider only prelim examination as our first target while preparing for prelim examination don't consider something that about a mains examination which optional subject I should take and all that because the first filter is literally difficult one from several lakhs to few thousands probability wise it's difficult and therefore first get focused only on preliminary examination you may uh, might have heard that uh, Preparation for mains is preparation for prelim. The story was true till 2010. Because from 2011, pattern as well as syllabus change. And therefore, uh, they have devised a such a thing that everybody should be at same platform that is for prelim. And therefore, uh, old concepts are not valid here. In old syllabus, optional subject that was there in preliminary examination also but now we don't have that and therefore we had to consider preparation for preliminary examinations exclusively all right so your first step to focus on preliminary examination now there are 10 different subjects and you have to study step by step of that 10 different subjects how to study for UPSC civil services examinations. The first important thing 
we have to consider only prelim examination as our first target while preparing for prelim examination don't consider something that about a mains examination which optional subject i should take and all that because the first filter is literally difficult one from several lakhs to few thousands probability wise it's difficult and therefore first get focused only on preliminary examination you may uh, might have heard that uh, preparation for mains is preparation for prelim the story was true till 2010 because from 2011 pattern as well as syllabus it changed and therefore uh, they have devised a such a thing that everybody should be at same platform that is for prelim and therefore uh, old concepts are not valid here in old syllabus optional subject that was there in preliminary examination also but now we don't have that and therefore we have to consider preparation for preliminary examinations exclusive all right so your first step to focus on preliminary examination now there are 10 different subjects and you have to study step by step of that 10 different subjects now how to study these 10 different subjects in gs for preliminary examination uh thing is that every subject is having different concept of learning say for example i am considering geography in case of geography certain part is there where intelligence is required your three dimensional concepts imagination power and everything that is required when particularly we are discussing about high tide low tide then eclipse and all this matter there these all things are required but other part is database and for that purpose uh, so for example which is the longest dam wall which is the greatest dam uh, rivers are flowing from one place to another like that so that is all database part so for that purpose we require different strategy now uh, in case of history also history is very very easy if you are having background of geography because maximum history they are associated with wars invaders culture of one place that is imposed on culture of other so for that purpose if geographical aspects are very good then history that is also very easy this is something i am talking just uh, briefly about the uh, history in case of science obviously scientific concepts we have to first get idea where imagination power is required in science we are discussing many things but we are not at all able to observe anything so for example atom what is the structure of an atom what is electron electron is wave or particle and all that things we are going to discuss but we are never able to observe an atom not electron not proton and still we are discussing about their configuration and all that in case of physics also in the dark background we are able to detect out black hole so like that some strange concepts we are going to discuss so where imagination power is required mathematical approach is also required your scientific approach that is also required that is the technique to ask questions then only science is easy in case of constitution that means indian polity and all that subjects we require tremendous database as well as uh, we are able to apply correct uh, that uh, article where it is so like that each and every subject is having different ideology but a uh, general practice i am going to tell if only database study is done not understanding but only database simple technique is there that is read out each subject thrice say for example i am uh, discussing about history so 
uh, go through the pages of history uh, let us take one part uh, hood invaders over in india so first find out what is the name hood from where these people were originally why they arrived in india like that you have to go through that particular topic read out completely with whatever the maximum speed you can this is something about first reading then wait for a week don't read out that topic again for a week after a week again start reading that same topic now you will get understand yes this is there uh, because you have followed that path once and now you are going through that path second time keep that book aside after your second reading for at least one month and then start preparation of that topic again you will understand very very easily that topic so like that you can go uh, to study this way for imagination purpose you require proper lectures and all that we have that on our youtube channel savarkar ias study circle all these video lectures are available for free of cost you can study out them from that also whereas various other channels are also there some animations are also showing and uh, you can go through that and make the understanding concept more proper so this is something about uh, paper 1 now in case of paper 1 mere reading mere understanding the subject going through reference book everything but it is not sufficient if you don't have practice of exams now your practice of exam is really important say for example uh, when you are preparing out a particular topic then try to get test of that topic you will get idea that the way questions are asked and therefore and uh, its analysis that is the prime most analysis because of that you will get thoroughly check it is not that 10 months you are going to study and in last month we are going to prepare for test no simultaneous things are there ideal thing is that uh, it is there therefore i am telling on our youtube channel savarkar i study circle you will get a test series practice of exam now your practice of exam is really important say for example uh, when you are preparing out a particular topic then try to get test of that topic you will get idea that the way questions are asked and therefore and uh, its analysis that is the prime most analysis because of that you will get thoroughly check it is not that 10 months you are going to study and in last month we are going to prepare for test no simultaneous things are there ideal thing is that uh, it is there therefore i am telling on our youtube channel savarkar i study circle you will get a test series you can go through that test series topic wise tests are there decide yourself that okay uh, within next 7 days i will prepare for only this topic prepare appear for test analysis is also there on that same channel and you will get study your marks at your own thing without spending a single rupee you can get this all but there are people those uh, who want something for them we have coaching classes uh you can check out on google map only and you can reach till us that is savarkar i study circle so uh, this is important that test is there and result of test this is all thing and analysis so if you are going regularly through test then your preparation is getting more and more useful what is ideal method for preparation of prelim i don't believe in making of time table and all that but uh, what is the thing that uh, first your target should be there 
that I had to score at least 60% marks in prelim. Don't consider 90 and 95 etc. But at least 60% or plus marks in a prelim. For that purpose we had to study. So start your preparation for taking one one subject at a time. I have seen many students are getting confused when they start studying out history. They are having dream that okay after finishing history I should study for geography, then political science, then science and all that. But this is not uh, useful. When you are preparing one subject, get focused in one subject. It is not that you will get thorough in all 10 subjects. So you have to go by risk, luck factor that is also there. But at least out of 10, 6 to 7 subjects, you must be thorough. And therefore, uh, what is the ideal way of preparation we are going to discuss. First, uh, on our YouTube channel, lectures are there. You have to go through that lecture. In that lecture, you are not able to ask me question. But lectures are there. Go through that lectures. Particularly, say for example, Alexander's invasion is a topic. Go through that Alexander's invasion topic from our video lecture. Then, uh, there are manuals. Some manuals I am going to take names also. Magro Hill Publication Pathfinder, uh, sorry, Magro Hill Publication Manual is there. Then uh, Arihanta Publication is also there. Like that, uh, even uh, various uh, Pearson Publication, Spectrum Publication, various books are there. You can go through these manuals. But manuals are not only sufficient. If you are reading out only manual, it is not sufficient. But manual will give you idea what topics you have to prepare. Then go through reference books. Say for example, if you are considering topic as Alexander's invasion, then first observe our video lecture. Then go through manual, whatever manual you have. Say for example, you have manual that is of Magro Hill publication. Go through that topic over there. If you have another manual, then go through that also, you will get good idea. Then you have to go through reference book. Say for example, there is one reference book that is uh, Ancient Indian History, given by, uh, written by uh, R. C. Muzumda. So you can go through that book. Uh, another great book is there that is written by uh, Swatantrapir Savarkar. This is called a Six Glorious Epoch in Indian History. You will get another angle of studying of. Like that you have to go through this reference book. While preparing this, you have to prepare your notes. So video lecture, manual, reference book. Now again observe video lecture and start preparation of your notes. Which notes we have to use for this preliminary examinations preparation? Answer is very simple. Notes prepared by yourself. These notes are useful. Rather than a person ranked first in UPSC civil services examination, I am using his notes. Don't do that. Prepare your own notes. Because when you are going to prepare your own notes, you are aware which topic we have written where and at what depth we have written. And therefore, prepare your own notes. When you are going to prepare for a civil services examination, it's my, uh, I can say that uh, request or wish from heart that prepare your own notes. This preparation is automatically preparation for mains also. Because this is understanding the topic clearly. When you are writing out topic, you will get idea. And uh, in case of mains also, the same thing you have to write down. So while writing out or while preparing out notes, you can play like this. Uh, let us make note on Chandrabhuta Maurya in about 250 words. Prepare uh, how he got power, what reforms he carried out, what are the merits of his rule, what are demerits or limitations of Chandrabhuta Maurya's rule, what was the impact of Chandrabhuta Maurya's rule over India. 
so like that various topics we can discuss right in about 250 words so like that you are preparing notes that means you are preparing for mains examination so this way we are preparing for preliminary examination by preparing your own notes by observing video lecture and if you want you can come at us uh, our classes are located at dadar mumbai location savarkar ia study circle swatantra veer savarkar rashtriya smarak so you can search out on google map and come here number that is flashing out here only 9221849650 so you can prepare like that for preliminary examination is it essential to join any coaching class for upsc civil services examination answer not at all if you are considering yourself like ekalavya you are aware about the story of ekalavya the great warrior so uh, if you are considering yourself like ekalavya then this coaching is not required but otherwise if you are considering to be the best archer then obviously dronacharya is required like that uh, it's everybody's lookout if you want to prepare for this then uh, jo while joining the class we have to consider some important things whether that class is having limited students it is not that you are one out of 400 in a batch so small batch size is important regular lectures obviously many coaching classes they are having regular lectures uh, they are completing out portion in detail but there is no fixed portion that's the problem then uh, regular test practice is there analysis of the test we have get, uh, you have very good library because every book you are not able to purchase it is not recommended also that you have to purchase any one manual and uh, rest of the books you can borrow from library so do you have library facility the most important thing that coaching class is convenient to you it is not that you are traveling 2 hours daily for coaching class so it is not required so for that purpose we have to go through these parameters and the most important thing that whether they are conducting out test preliminary examinations with analysis this is the most important thing then uh, you can go through the coaching classes like that one coaching class is ours that is savarkar i s study circle you can join if you don't want to join coaching class and want to study then yes it is possible because on youtube channel various uh, not only ours various other coaching classes are also having their channels you can go through that and you can go through our channel also on our youtube channel we are having lectures they are in english and marathi not mixed language english lectures are separate marathi lectures are separate you can go through that lectures then test series are also there test series are exclusively in english only so test series their answer keys and analysis and uh, all this data that is there under one roof that is uh, our uh, youtube channel that is savarkar ia study circle so you can go through that and prepare your own what is the total time required for preparation of upsc civil services examination answer it depends upon each and everybody's lookout there are students they are preparing from 6th standard 7th standard onwards for this examination whereas there are students they were not aware of these examinations only and when they got aware they started preparation and they got selected also so there is no fixed time that per day you have to study 10 hours 15 hours and all that no the most important thing how intelligently you are preparing and what is your luck both things matter if one want to crack upsc civil services examinations prelim 
then uh, what is the time that person should dedicate per day answer no fixed time the way your grasping power is there the way you are going to prepare that is important so it is not necessary that you should work for uh, you should study for 10 hours 15 hours like that even 2 hours study but with full focus that is that may be also sufficient if you have very good grasping ability say everybody every person is having different abilities say for example i can study out i can go through history i can remember names in history but i am not having any background of music so if i am going to study music then it will take more time for me to study out music if i want to join dance it is just impossible for me right now but if at all i tried may be possible i don't have background of music so i can't dance and it is bit difficult for me to dance but for studying purpose yeah so this way if your eligibility your uh, what we can say you are inclined to that particular subject and you have that uh, attitude to go for exam then obvious thing is that you are going to get good marks if you are studying out with full enthusiasm full positive approach then hours is not a matter only thing is that you have to get knowledge if i am not getting selected for upsc civil services examination after my all attempts then answer very simple again that you should not prepare only for upsc civil services examination apart from that there are other examination for example cds that is combined defense services examination to look age limit is there Uh, but you have to go through that. Then uh, various states they are having public service commission. For example, we are from Maharashtra, so we have uh, MPSC that is Maharashtra Public Service Commission. If you are belonging to Madhya Pradesh, then you have MPPSC. Like that, various uh, public service commissions exams are there. You have to go through the requirement of that particular state. For example, in Maharashtra, if you want to appear for MPSC exam. then it is mandatory that you should have knowledge of marathi so like that uh, that means uh, you can read write and speak so like that you have to go through uh, that particular states psc also so these options are available and lastly if at all you are not able to select in any case of this competitive examination by that time you are having tremendous knowledge that knowledge will take you to some high level i can't predict out what level but yes it is there so this way you have to prepare for upsc civil services examination why upsc civil services examination why we have to appear for this type of examination number 1 uh you must have very good determination that i want to serve my nation say whatever job you are performing good quality job obviously for nation that is also building process of nation only but uh, something we are saying it is directly connected something indirectly so here this is directly connected my recommendation if you want to serve nation various things are there that we can change for that purpose either you must be actively join politics that any political party or form any one political party like that or join civil services examination uh, appear for civil services examination and join civil services because uh, actually if you observe tremendous power is there in hands of uh, this administrative services and they have capacity if they determine then they have capacity to change the nation so you want to serve for nation 
you want to change nation for betterment of the nation then obvious you have to join this uh, first obviously first uh, role that is political party but second it is civil services examination